Hi everyone, welcome to my next showcase. It's Late Romans again, but this time a 6mm painted army, stroke force. And what I'd like to do today is share with you uh, both the composition, the figures, show you some of the painting I've done, and importantly, the multi-use of this army uh, with various rule sets including sword and spear to the strongest and some others so hope you find the video useful and let's get in a bit closer okay so starting at the front uh, we've got the light infantry uh, javelin armed archers Uh, more javelin armed light infantry, some ballistae, artillery, and some Gaelic warriors fighting for the Romans, as was often the case with different nationalities of captured tribes, etc., uh, being put into Roman service. Then we have some of the Gaelic and Roman cavalry on the flanks and again over the far side we've got some of the auxiliary cavalry uh, here as well with commander and then in the center typically we've got the auxiliary uh, with the blue shields at the front and then we get into the legionaries uh, forming the rear uh, support stroke reserve troops there. Uh, we've got various mounted generals and officers, the main army general there. Um, closing in a bit and we've got some cataphracts uh, for a bit of fun. Uh, always an interesting unit. Uh, and then a camp um, and this is particularly used for two of the strongest um, just as a, uh, a focal point uh, for this particular army so what I'll do now is uh, move the video on to looking at setups for various rule sets So first of all, uh, late Roman army for to the strongest, and you'll see the cloth I'm using here is the uh, 10 centimeter uh, gridded squares. So on the flanks here, we've got two units of Roman heavy cavalry uh, with a general uh, who is the wing command. Uh, and within that command, uh, we've also got uh, artillery uh, with archers sharing the same grid uh, and warriors at the back. So that's the first uh, command for that flank. And then moving into the centre, we've got the legionaries, uh, four units of heavy foot with the army general, and some elite light infantry. Uh, so that makes up the central command. And then on the right command, we've got the auxiliary cavalry, uh, infantry, and the cataphracts with, again, uh, wing command. So in that particular force, three generals or three commands, uh, and the forces as disposed there within those uh, grids uh, with marching camp or camp as required. Uh, can be classed as a fortified camp uh, at the rear of the deployment and, and anyone who knows the to the strongest rules will know that camps provide a good uh, rally point and also extra ammunition uh, for any uh, shooting units that you have with the main army so again we look at a smaller setup for Another famous rule set. It's been a very long time. Neil Thomas's ancient and medieval wargaming. So this is a late Roman army. Um, most of the units are made up of four bases. 
uh, in these rules. So we've got a unit of archers, unit of auxiliary, two units of legionaries, two units of heavy cavalry, some artillery, and the general. Um, again, these rules have been around a long time, very simplistic set of rules covering lots of periods, but great fun and a really good starting point uh, for anyone getting into wargaming. So importantly, we've given you um, two ideas of two rule sets uh, that you could use a six mil army with. Of course, uh, we and I widely play sword and spear uh, at the club uh, with these exact same figures. Um, you could play sword point. Um, and there are a number of other games that could be adapted um, using these figures. So hopefully it's given everybody some ideas. Um, importantly, most of these figures, I would say, are Bacchus. Uh, there's probably a few rapiers mixed in there. Um, and some other manufacturers as well. Generally speaking, I undercoat uh, my figures in black or grey. Um, if it's a grey, I generally put a, a warm uh, brownish colour ink wash over the top. Uh, and then paint in the base colours and finish off with another wash at the end. Um, and again, looking at these from a couple of feet away, which generally you are, they always look impressive on the table, the sheer numbers. The basing, I would suggest, is really key with 6mm in any um, period. Uh, basing, I tend to use the Bacchus 6mm basing system. Uh, mounted on MDF bases. I go for 3 mil thickness, you can get 2 mil. Um, these are 4030s for mounted and the bigger units, 4020s for the smaller ones. And generally speaking, uh, you PVA glue the scatter on, having undercoated the base in brown. Uh, you use the brown wash over the top of the scatter mix. Uh, then it's a watered down PVA to apply uh, loose grass. And then I stick on um, grass tufts of various shapes and sizes afterwards. Let that all dry. And then I just paint the edge of the bases. In this case for these guys, uh, that has been green. Um, but sometimes that may be black or another colour, um, depending on what you're doing. So hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, my showcase of 6mm late Roman army, and I will see you again soon, hopefully to share some more armies with you. Enjoy your wargaming, and see you soon.